Hey there, it's Maggie, Grammy with a Hammer. It's holiday season again, and time to think up gift ideas for the people that you need to get gifts for, but you don't really know what to get them for gifts. Talking about your staff at work, your associates, your neighbors. So, and you're like, okay, what am I gonna get them? You wanna get them something nice. You don't really wanna do a gift card you don't really have a lot of time even to be making like 30 cutting boards or any of that crap. So this is my idea. All of these supplies I was able to get from either the Dollar Tree, Amazon, or Timu. And I will leave um, screenshots from Amazon and Timu because I don't know how to do the link thingies down below. Okay, so these are nice relatively easy if you can measure and if you can boil things gifts that you can make for friends neighbors associates things like that that's gonna be more heartwarming than a gift card for inexpensive too i think total when you cut down the price maybe ten dollars each okay so ready here we go. Okay, so here we are, project one, soap. So I get this, it's the, what do they call it anyways? Melt and pour. Melt and pour oatmeal shea butter soap. It comes in a little box, just like that. It's already got the oatmeal on it, everything. I do add extra oatmeal to it just to make it more zhuzhy. So I got that, and then I got one of these molds Silicone molds, they pop in and out. And this was like one of those little kit thingies and it came with a crinkle knife cutter thingy. Now with this melt and pour, you can melt it in a pot, you can melt it in the microwave, um, whichever way you choose, okay? And I know you see a different shirt, you're like, wait a minute. You're gonna see me in a couple different shirts because I kept having technology issues. I can use technology, but I can't win against it. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop off, chop off. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt down this wax. You choose which way. And then I have some cute colors to put in it. And so I'm gonna try to pick a purpley one to put in it. And so that it can be like Alzheimer's colors. We'll see if that works. So I'm gonna melt, I'm gonna pour it in here, sprinkle a little bit more oats on the top, and then tomorrow we will get together and take it out of the mold. And hopefully it looks really cute, okay? So when you're doing this, you wanna cut it nice thin strips, kinda of like you're cutting cheese for a grilled cheese sandwich. I wonder, could you use a grater with this? Probably be wicked messy, right? Okay. So I'm gonna do it in the microwave. You can do it on the stove top. Last time I did this, I did it on my hot plate thingy that I use to um, do my candles and stuff with because it can get kind of stinky and nobody wants to stink in the house. So, but anyways, we're gonna chop up these. like action shots, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go, you think that's enough? Probably not. There we go. Okay, we'll melt soap. Hey, day two, after work. Now we're gonna start getting these out of the molds and get these presents going. So, our soap. A lot of the oatmeal didn't stick to the top. So I'm gonna first jiggle it on there, get rid of some of the oatmeal. A lot of it stayed though, see? So we're going to put it on the cutting board. Take the handy dandy wood off. Now the silicone should come right off. Maybe come right off. Hopefully come right off. 
Yeah. He said I was supposed to like, I don't know. He wanted you to put that isopropyl propyl. But anyways, I don't think it swirled as much as I wanted it to. But um, there we go. It's more of a pink and white, isn't it? You see that? Okay, so right, oatmeal everywhere. And then, so we're gonna cut them to fit in this box. I've got one of these crinkly cut doohickeys. So first I'm gonna start with the very edge. It's kind of cool, but not purple though, is it? Just say. About that big. You like that highly technical measuring? Okay, so we got that. Now we gotta see how it'll fit in the box. So we gotta make it shorter. So, what I'm gonna do, can you see that? All right, you know what I'll do? Shit, I just dropped the soap. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna literally just cut the edges off I think that should fit right in the box. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do about 30 more of these. So, I'll be back. Okay, so now for the third and final project for our little gift sets. It's going to be candles. On Timu, I found these cute little metal containers and they come 12 in a box so of course I got purple ones but I also got these black ones look at these aren't these awesome so I thought we could make see look oh spoiler this is what they all look like in the boxes doesn't that look cute together so what we're gonna do is got my handy dandy hot plate I'm going to heat up the wax. Now, I buy big things of wax, of the, I call them the Jesus candles, but you know what I mean? Candles at Dollar Tree. And then if I don't use them all, I literally just stick them in the silicone mold, the extra wax to save for later because they're easier to melt down this way. So, and then I get my wicks actually either through Amazon or Timu, whichever one I happen to be shopping on that day. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get those melted, get those all set up and get them in here. And I mean, it's literally, it's again, we're going to pour them in, we're going to set, and then tomorrow they're ready to go. So let's get melt and wax. Okay, so we're making cute soaps and we're making cute candles we need a cute soap dish so i'm going to show you how i made this let's pretend faux marble soap dish that we can put it all together and make a cute little package with okay and i did this with um the epoxy that you can get on amazon you know there's just a simple one-to-one -one ratio it's right in like the craft section and stuff. It's really easy to use as long as you can measure. And they say it sets in eight hours, but I like to leave it for a day so it can really set. The molds, you can get the molds on Amazon. You can get the molds on Timu. You can get molds now at the Dollar Tree. So there's no excuse for not being able to find a silicone mold for what you want to make. But I thought that this concept with the little soap dish and the soap and doing it all with a black and white theme. I just thought it was adorable. So I'm gonna show you a video now of me making it. Here we go.
Okay, so let me show you that. Can you see how white that is? Pretty white. Okay. I'm going to put the white in the white. So you're probably not going to see it. But our goal is to basically cover the whole bottom, which I think we accomplished. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to make up a, a half as much as we did and make it black. And then do like swirlies in it. Just saying, swirlies. So I'm going to do, that last one was four of these little thingies, so this one's going to be two of these little thingies. Okay, well there was still white left in here, so now it's kind of a foggy color. Right. Honestly, my biggest concern is that I get this all over me. I got it on my shirt. I got dye on my shirt. One of my good work shirts. Okay. Can you see that? Looks pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to clean up all this mess and we'll see how that looks tomorrow. Okay. Let's wrap up our DIY holiday gift giving ideas. So we got our candles. They actually smell really good. We got the little containers on Timu. I'm gonna screenshot right here. What, how much they were. Then we have our little soaps. And I already screenshotted when we were making the soaps, the thingies, but I also put the boxes right now. So the boxes that we put them in, I'm gonna put right here. And then we have our resin soap dishes. So all together, I figured out to like less than $10. And honestly, if you've gotten a nice greeting card lately, Nice greeting card's gonna cost you like five, six bucks. So there we go. Put a little twine on it. Perfect little holiday gift.
And so I hope this gives you some inspiration for holiday gift giving this year. I'm Maggie, I'm Grammy with a Hammer. And if you like these type of ideas, please look through my playlists. I've got where I was making candles with Dollar Tree, I call them Jesus candles, you know what I mean, the pillar candle thingies. Okay, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.